So it's very important that you understand this specific new feature associated with Windows 8.1. Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 have gone into the arena of allowing applications to be downloaded from the Windows Store. And Windows Store is uh, the central source for grabbing the apps. This way, there's a central place where applications can be controlled and managed by Microsoft. This way they can maintain and, to some degree, guarantee the quality of the applications. So Windows Store apps are really something that you need to be comfortable with in getting around. Windows Store, if you will, as I said, is a central repository for application. Okay, it's the central repo, if you will, for applications. And if you really think about it, people that are grabbing the applications from Microsoft are coming from all over the place. Not just that. It's not just people that are grabbing applications. It's devices that are grabbing applications. So you have PCs, no kidding. Right? You also have phones. You also have tablets. You have desktops that are all grabbing applications from the Windows Store all the time. So Microsoft needs to manage many things associated with this. Specifically speaking, the speed with which the applications are delivered as well. If you wanted to grab an application such as Office, a new version of the operating system, how long would you be willing to wait? Also, if you are grabbing an application, for example, for the tablet, let's say, what if you had to go to your desktop, or I should really say your laptop, which is not even listed here, what if you had to go to your desktop or your laptop in order to be able to download the application for your tablet? You can see that being a problem, can't you? Of course you can, because that's one other step that you have to worry about. You have to go over to your desktop or your laptop, and you have to worry about basically downloading the application and then syncing it with your tablet. Right? That's, that's too many steps, right? I mean, that's the way things used to be done in the past. I should be able to grab the updates for the tablet from the tablet while I have access to the Internet, well, essentially the Windows Store. Now when I want to update a laptop, I can do it from the Windows Store central repository, if you will, of applications. I can also use the laptop to update the tablet if I want to, or I can use the tablet to download the application or the updates from here and then send that update across to my laptop or my desktop. So really, this, the central repository, makes it possible for that to be done. Now, Windows Store, the icon is right here if you look on the bottom. That's the store. So you have the Start menu. You have Internet Explorer. You have File Manager right over here, like File Explorer. You have the Windows Store. I put in Notepad here, and this is Paint that I'm running right now. So if I click on the store, the store opens up, right? Very, very simply. And with the store, it tells you right here, you can switch between apps by clicking up there. If you look right up there, you see the little desktop icon? Right? If I click right on the desktop icon, I'm able to get right to it. And if I click on the store app again, I'm able to open up the store just by clicking on the top left. Okay? It says if you move your mouse pointer on the bottom left-hand corner, you get to the start menu. So that's the navigation. Top left, you get to the desktop. Bottom left, you get to the start menu. Otherwise, you can begin to look for applications. If I said Windows 8, for example, it gives me a whole host of applications associated with Windows 8. Lots and lots of them. And it's doing a search on the web for Windows 8 applications. And it is telling me if it costs money, what the ratings are. I can split up the categories. I can say I'm only looking for games. I'm looking for free games. Right, and it says I can sort by relevance or I can sort by the newest free games. I can say that I'm looking for photo, free and trial photos, and I'm sorting by the newest. Very slick, isn't it? And I can go up here and I can change this to, for example, music. So now it's looking at everything associated with music. It's looking at all categories. 
So I can say music and video. I can say paid only. Right? And I can say sort by the highest rating. Right? And maybe I don't care about paying a little bit of money to get a higher rating for the application I'm interested in. This way, I'm able to grab what I want really fast. Top charts. Right? So I can say top free games, top free applications. Go back to the top charts and I can say new and rising applications, like so. Right? The Photo Blender application. I can say top of the chart and I can say top paid applications. Right? Why somebody would want to grab the different kinds of applications there are. So this is very easy. Now I can press Alt F4 to close this window or I can go straight up and I can see the store that's open. That's what I'm in right now. And I can minimize this down here or I can click on it which will bring it back up or I can click on this X to close it. And that closes the Windows Store app. So that is the Windows Store, Windows Store apps, the navigation around it so you get to see what that was like.